All right, I am three classes. Uh, today, we're going to start uh, getting into how to factor polynomials. This is something you may remember from I am two, um, but you may not remember it because last year was crazy, and that's okay. So we're going to start off slow. Uh, some of the stuff, again, might be familiar. If it's not, that's okay, too. Um, but uh, actually, today, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we started with the factoring polynomials last lesson. We are going to do special case polynomials. So starting off, we're going to talk about what's a perfect square trinomial. Um, we'll talk about why it's a perfect square trinomial in a second. We're going to factor this the same way we factored the other ones. Uh, last number goes on top, middle number goes on bottom. And we are looking for two numbers that multiply to 25 and add to 10. For this one, this is going to be 5 and 5. So 5 plus 5 is 25. 5 plus 5 is 10. So our factors are going to be x plus 5 and x plus 5. And so this is why it's called a perfect square trinomial, because the, the factors are exactly the same. So we could actually rewrite this as x plus 5 squared. Right? So that is a perfect square tri, uh, trinomial. Right? So remember, perfect squares are numbers that, when their factors uh, are the are the same. Um, so we are just doing the same thing here. We're taking this trinomial and splitting it up into its two factors. And since they're the same, we can rewrite it as a square. So let's look at another example. Um, over here, we need to multiply the first. And last number, and we get nine times 25 is 225. And then negative 30 on the bottom, make sure we keep that negative there, negative 30 on the bottom. So what are two numbers that multiply to get 20, 225 and add to get negative 30? That's gonna be negative 15 and negative 15. Don't forget, since we multiplied by nine to get the top, right? we need to divide back out by nine. So divide by nine, divide by nine. We get negative 15, divide by nine. This reduces to negative five over three. You can divide top and bottom by three. So this one too, negative five over three. So our factors, uh, So in the factors, they each get an x. Remember, the bottom number gets attached to the x. So it's going to be 3x minus 5, 3x minus 5. Since the factors are the same, we write it as 1. It is 3x minus 5 squared. So next one, um, same thing. Uh, so here's the thing, if you, if you can recognize as you get better at these, if you can recognize that it's going to be a perfect square trinomial, you can skip the factoring part and just go straight to the answer. This one is going to be um, 2x uh, minus 3, I believe. So I should wait for there, but um, multiply top and bottom. Four times 81 is 324. Uh, negative 36, so that's going to be um, negative, oh yeah, negative 36 on the bottom. So numbers that multiply to get 324 and add to get 36. That's going to be uh, 18, I believe. 18 times 18. Double check on the calculator. Yeah. So this is going to be negative 18. I'm going to put that in black. Negative 18 and negative 18. Since I multiplied by 4, I have to divide by 4. So this comes out to uh, negative 9 over 2. 
And so since they're the same factors, I can just write it as one is going to be two X minus nine squared. Again, since these are the same, I don't even need to write out both factors. I can leave it like that, All right? The next type of special case we're going over is the difference of squares. So if we have a polynomial in this form where it's a perfect square minus a perfect square, it's always going to factor into this form. So the square root of the first term plus or minus the square root of the second term. So what you're looking for is a perfect square minus a perfect square, All right? So here we have x squared, that's perfect squared. 16 is a perfect square. So what you're gonna do, square root of the first term is just gonna be x, and then it's gonna be plus and minus square root of the second term. Done. All right. Next one, so nine x squared, nine x squared is a perfect squared. 49 is a perfect square. It is subtraction. So this is a difference of squares. So square root of the first one. So that's going to be 3x plus or minus square root of the second term is 7. Done. Next one, this one is slightly different. Um, you need to, to factor out a GCF first, the greatest common factor first. Um, we're not going to see too much of these. We're going to get more into this tomorrow or our next lesson, rather. Um, so what you, if you can recognize that uh, 3, actually, you can divide 12 and 75 by 3. So I'm going to factor out a 3. So that's going to be 4x squared minus 25. So remember that this factoring is just undoing like a distribution property. It's just pulling that 3 out instead of putting it in there. Um, and now I have a perfect square minus perfect square. So this middle part or that binomial factors into the square root of the first plus or minus square of the second term. And then on this one, if you do a GCF first, you do need to include it in your answer. Bring that factor down. Okay. So this is like two layers of factoring. All right, so last thing we're gonna talk about is the difference of cubes. So similar to the difference of squares, uh, it's it just it factors into this pattern each time. Uh, it can be sum or difference. So I said difference of cubes. For cubes, it can be the sum, so addition, or it can be subtraction. So you're looking for perfect cubes, all right, adding or subtracting. Um, the patterns are basically the same. So here it's a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. Down here, it is a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. You're wondering if you notice it's just the plus and minus that are different. Um, something to help you remember, I'm gonna move this difference of cubes out of the way, uh, to help you remember what is, what is uh, the acronym SOAP. Move it over here. S-O-A-P. Soap. So this here is always the same as this here. These here are always opposite of what's in over there. And then these, the AP stands for always positive. Not all way A always positive. So just remember, so, so uh, the same, what's here, opposite, what's over here, and then always positive, same, opposite, always positive. So, so let's look at our example. What I like to do here, just because it helps uh, identify uh, what the A and B are going to be. So this is a plus, so this is going to be A plus B times a squared minus a b plus b squared. It helps if you recognize what the a and b are. So a is gonna be the cube root of this, which would just be x. b is the cube root of this, which is four. So just substitute those in here. So it's gonna be x plus four 
and then x squared minus, uh, it's x4, I'm going to write 4x plus b squared is 16. All right, next example. So again, think of soap. So the general pattern is going to be A minus B. So same, A squared. This one's opposite, so plus A times B, then always positive B squared. These identify the A and B, make it easier. So the cube root of 8x cubed is going to be 2x. Cube root of 125 is going to be 5. So A is uh, 2x, B is 5. Careful with this because we are squaring. Have, um, we're squaring. So I'm actually going to simplify this. I'm going to do this in two steps. So 2x squared plus uh, A. So 2x times five plus uh, five squared, multiply all that out. So it's two X minus five, two squared is four, X squared, X squared, plus two times five is 10, and five squared is 25. So I took that in just a couple steps so we can see what all the multiplication marks. All right, one last example. Uh, so. Identify the A and B. A, this is going to be uh, cube root of 27 is 3. X, cube root of 343 is 7. So remember, for the general pattern, remember soap. Same. Opposite. Always positive. So plug those values in. So 3x minus 7. A is 3x. We're going to square that. Plus 3x times 7 plus uh, b squared, 7 squared. So now just multiply all that out. So 3x minus 7. Uh, 3 squared is 9 x squared is x squared. 3 times 7 is 21. Don't forget the x. Plus 7 squared is 49. There we go. All right. That'll do it for today. Um, next time, we're going to do some more factoring. We're going to do what's called factoring completely. So we'll see everyone next time.